Hi, this is a uh, short tutorial to show you how to create a very simple application for the Mac um, with Qt5. Okay, so um, this will be a very simple application with uh, three widgets and we're going to go and create um, something fairly quickly. There's almost no coding, just one line of code and that should be enough to give you a sense of how to create um, applications. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is um, create a new project. Um, I'm going to use the default um, Qt widget application and I see that it's for desktop and iOS and iOS is good because that's what I want to go uh, to eventually in these tutorials. Um, so we're going to pick this. Um, I'm going to call this project 3 widgets um, continue. I'm going to use all the defaults that are given to me here, the good, not change anything here. These are the different files that are going to be created automatically by Qt. And um, this is just a summary of what's going to happen. These are all the files here that will be created. And I s click and wait for Qt to prepare a lot of uh, this code in the background. In a little while, everything is ready and I see here that I have my new project. Um, the several files in here that are uh, interesting. There's the main program here and main typically we're not going to touch. It has um, the basic application which is started, uh, the window shows, but typically we don't go here and touch any of this. This will always stay the same. However, the main window.cpp, the main um, C++ um, file will have the methods of the window class that will be created, a window um, object. Okay, and we'll come back to that. So if you look at this now, you're going to see there's just um, two um, methods, the constructor, destructor, and um, you're going to see that Qt is going to create a new method for us very soon. And um, so the header for this file contains the full definitions. Um, we have a, a new class here, main window, which inherits from Qt main windows um, application. We have some, some um, keywords, some directives for the compiler that are really Qt specific. This is not C++. And then I have my constructor, destructor here. And then a member variables, which is a pointer to the main window. So this is how we're going to access all the widgets through UI. All right. And so where I'm going to go is um, here. This is the UI file, the user interface file. And it contains the definitions of everything that is going to be on the uh, on the window. So all the different widgets are going to be there. So if you double click on this, you're going to go by default to the, um, the, the, the graphic designer. So let's do that. All right, so I see that I have a window here. Um, it's, uh, ah, I'm stuck. Let's go back to edit. Sometimes Qt5, the current version, is a little buggy. So um, this is an example of what's going on here. Design. Can I move things around? No. All right. Well, let's see. I'm going to put a push button. All right. Push button works. Push button works. All right, it lets me, uh, well, it doesn't let, let me move the window, actually, it lets me uh, resize it. This is very important. See, as I'm changing the window, somehow my, my buttons here are not moving. Um, in order to make them somehow um, resize or change location so that they're always in the center of the window, I need to put some spacers, uh, horizontal spacers. And right here, so if I click on this and drag it, to the window. I can add one spacer here. I'm going to click here, drag it, another spacer. And now I'd like these four widgets to kind of st stay together. So I'm going to highlight all four of them. And I'm going to click on this little icon, which is a layout. And it's going to lay them out horizontally. All right, so now this is a block. So if I can click on just, oops, Alt-Z, function Z. All right. Let me click on the right, the red box. Okay, you see now, these guys form a block. So they'll, um, 
if I change the geometry of the window, I'm still not having them move, but that's actually I have everything that is needed for that to happen. I just need to add an other widget. I'm going to add a text um, widget here. It's a text edit. It's right down here in the input widgets. I'm going to click on it, and you see that it's a it's a box here. And what I will want to do is have this uh, widget and my my new um, block here, horizontal layout. I'd like them to somehow behave as a vertical block. Uh, I want always this block to be over the text edit widget. To do that, I'm going to select that red. Uh, it's tricky. Let's see. All right, this and that together. And now I can click on this icon, which is a, a vertical layout. So I want all of these two to always be one on top of the other. Click, and so now they form a block. And so now what I'd like to do is I'd like this block to expand to whatever the window geometry is. To do that, I'm going to click on the window. Now I select the whole window, and I'm going to create a grid um, layout. And automatically, my box now fits the window. And you see that as I'm going to be resizing the window, the spacers are going to pick up the slack and always put my two buttons in the middle. All right, maybe it's a good time to save. So save this the little asterisks has been removed from uh, the name here indicating that now it is saved so what i'd like to do is i'd like to change the name of these buttons one of them is going to be called the hello button when i click it what i want is i want to see the the string hello world appear here so double click this change this to hello then we're going to click this i'm going to make this a clear button whenever i click it i want to um, clear the um, the edit box all right, so very simple. Now, the next thing is to somehow um, create listeners. So if you've programmed in Java, you probably understand what a listener is. In Qt, this is um, called uh, a system of slots and signals. Signals are events generated by widgets. And signals are attached to um, special methods of widgets that are called slots. So a slot is just a method that is a listener, if you want. It will listen to events, or actually it will be triggered by a particular event. And Qt has a very, very nice way of making us create this, this uh, connection. We don't have to write any code. So what I need to do is I need to change. Right now I'm in this design mode. I need to go to this icon, which is the uh, signal, and signal and slot um, edit mode. So I'm going to click on it. And now as I'm moving along my mouse, you see that it's picking up, it's looking at different widgets and allowing me to pick one. And what I want is I want the clear button to somehow um, change something in the edit window. So I'm going to click on clear and drag this. And you see that as I'm dragging my mouse, it's saying, up oh, here it's now creating a, a connection between the clear button and the edit window. I'm going to release the mouse. And it's offering me now a menu of options. And on the left hand side, I have the signals that are available from the clear button. On the right, right hand side, I have the different methods associated with TextEdit. And because TextEdit is a widget, has already a lot of different methods that are um, pre wired, if you want. So when I click this button, I would like to clear, and clear happens to be the first one here. I want to clear the, the, the TextEdit. So that's it. Um, I can say OK. And so now you see that there's a clicked box, clear box. So it actually shows me, uh, shows to me the, um, the connection that has been made, signal to slot. That's the signal, that's the slot. Now I want to do the same thing with hello, but printing the string hello world in a text edit is not standard. So I need a special method to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on um, the hello button. And actually, I'm in the wrong mode for this. Actually, I need to go back here. Sorry, I'm going to go back to the design window. Right click or control click. Try to figure out what, which particular click it is on that. And there's an option for go to slot. So go to the slot. So when this button is clicked, hello, that's the one that I want. OK. 
and automatically it will create a method in um, both the main window.h and main window.cpp but usually you put the code in the the code is really put in the .cpp file so now I have um, this new method that is created so all I need to do here is to say that I want to add the text hello world to the current text edit window so I have to go through the UI first remember UI is a pointer to all the different widgets so UI pointer and in here now are all the different widgets that are available so you see all these different things that I've done the creating layouts they are actually they are part of the UI and somewhere there should be the text edit it's right here listed alphabetically text edit all right so I'm going to double click on this and text edit itself is a pointer and it has a method for adding text to where whatever is there and that's the append method so arrow and there should be an append somewhere right here append and then I just have to say hello world and that's all I need to do okay so I'm gonna save this Apple save let's check this file windows.h to make sure that it also contains a new um, method it's right here it's a void method doesn't return anything and private slots is um, again this is something that Qt um, the infrastructure has it's not C++ um, this is just something that is there for the compiler to know that this method is actually special it's a listener um, all right and that's all we need to do and that should work so let's try it out I'm gonna go here and click on the little arrow for running the program it's I'm gonna see the build here on the right hand side uh, the bottom okay there's two warnings but um, no errors so that should go should be good and actually on my system it appeared on a different monitor but I'm bringing back my application so here's my application let's verify that it behaves well when I resize the window and actually it does and if I click hello I see hello world fantastic if I clear hello clear all right it works um, another tip if you want to change the title of your main window you want something to be different um, the way you do that you need to go back to the um, uh, designer of the UI of the graphical user interface I'm going to close this I'm going to go back to this file double click and I'm going to look in this window here I have all my widgets so the top one is the window itself all right so if I click on it below here I'm going to have all the different properties that are associated with it and the title should actually be there somewhere so let's window title it's right here it says main window right now if you want to change this we can call it hello world exclamation mark that should be sufficient let me recompile so I'm going to go to the bottom left part of my window run it's built um, oh, it appears on my other screen here it is and indeed it says hello world at the top see here hello 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 clear hello 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 hello, hello. clear that's it that's a very quick tutorial for getting you started with signals and slots and do things that are um, inter interesting with Qt5